Hey guys, just a really quick unboxing here. So I got this uh, order today through Discogs. Uh, it took, um, it's from the UK and it took over f yeah, roughly four weeks. And the reason for that, uh, I'll get to in a moment. But first I will open it and what do we have? We have the Rolling Stones, it's only rock and roll. The 1994 Virgin Remaster Collector's Edition. And we have the Rolling Stones 1994 Virgin Collector's Edition Emotional Rescue. I totally love this album, by the way. So why, why have I gotten these? Well, why am I filming this? Well, with these two, uh, my Virgin 1994 Collector's Edition collection is now complete. I had uh, uh, black and blue for years and years and years and years, probably since 97 or something. And um, then, you know, they changed the record company and you got that box set with the the current, um, current run. Um, uh, where are they on now? I don't remember the label. Anyway, um, but I always wanted to get these these others and gradually over this winter, I've managed to get them. So we got um, that song rock and roll, with the, which was Mick Taylor's last album, of course, with the Stones. Uh, it is my least favorite of the Mick Taylor albums, uh, but it has one of my favorite songs ever. Although some people say they don't really think it belongs on this album because it's so different. It's a fingerprint file. God, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous track. Um, and then um, another one, which you know, a lot of people are divided on. But I, 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 back then, it didn't. I guess it didn't fare that well with critics. But I love it, and I think a lot of people have sort of just built on them. People like it a lot more these days. It is such a cool cover. It's so special. This heat sensitive pictures. Um, yes, yeah, because there wasn't an, an inner cover, but there was the poster. And I have the old vinyl poster. Sorry about my finger there. I, I'm just doing this uh, very, very quickly. Just, just the post man, the post woman was just here. Yeah, so. That's that. So uh, just a little final grab. Just the, like I said, the seller has sent it really well, well packaged and everything. And he has put on uh, that it's uh, two used CDs and a gift. And has uh, written the value including um, the postage. Now, Danish Customs uh, thought that... Um, well, we know we have to be careful. We can't let 30 pounds slip through our fingers, God forbid. Um, well, there's no receipt in here. But, you know, we'll just assume that someone is probably lying or something. So, um, this, these two with the postage cost me um, 30 pounds. Fair enough. Customs charge. Cost me 28 pounds. Not so happy about that. Thank you, Danish Customs. Anyway, really glad I got this collection. Um, it's a fun thing to have. Um, and the sound, they sound great. So anyhow, thanks for watching and um, see you in a more regular unboxing and take care. Bye. My copy of Tattoo You that I got last week. Ooh. And um, yeah, part of the collection. Excel on Main Street.
the original. Would you call this a gatefold? I don't know. So here are the original postcards in miniature. And what I like they did here is they recreated both inner sleeves, although they only need one because there's only one CD. As you can see here, that's the other inner sleeve with the CD in it. Wonderful, wonderful music. And finally, sticky fingers. Finally, you say? Well, the other CDs are up in Norway, so I can't show them to you now. You see they have this protective film, plastic film, because of the, because of the, oh my God, the zipper. It's uh, become sort of yellow, far more so than the actual cover. So, because I was a bit worried when I opened it, um, I thought, oh my god, this is really turned yellow. But yeah, so it's, it's in working order, as you can see, just like the original, although this feature, I suppose, you can do on the one more record. And um, the inner sleeve comes from the side, like so. With this great photo. Which, confusingly, was used on one of the was it three, four, five different ver versions of the compilation album called uh, Rock and Rolling Stones, which had uh, one of them had a cover uh, with the mopeds on it, and then there's one with a rather disturbing looking German Lee Eagle. And I think one of them had from this photo session even though this was made for sticky fingers. I think that was some sort of Abco thing. Yeah, so... Sorry, I can't show you the other ones because, like I said, they're in Norway. Thanks for watching.